what do you think? Well, one of the things we do is entrepreneurial skills for journalists so that they can work find ways to monetize content, you know, mm. creating their own online, online graphs. Um, how important do you think that is for the future of journalism that you can diversify and create your own revenues? I think it's very, very important, just, you know, it's common sense apart from anything else, to understand uh, the financing of, 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 of journalism. Yeah. If you go into schools, and you listen to media studies, they often talk about news organisations as if they're kind of big brotherish. you know, mm -hmm. why does Rupert Murdoch want to say that, or why does the mayor want to say that, and what they overlook is, is that, you know, the primary objective is to make money, to give people something that they're prepared to pay for. Absolutely. Finally, just as we didn't get on to Leveson today, yeah. um, how, how grateful were people at Sky for the fact that Leveson kind of put Kai Bush to Rupert Murdoch getting hold of Sky? I, look, look, well, I think Sky News um, was going to be the price of the merger uh, and we were going to be spun off um, because the government wouldn't uh, have allowed News Corporation to own that much news and we were the kind of extra bit. Now personally, of the three options of staying as we are, becoming part of News Corp, or being spun off, the one I didn't want was to be spun off because, I mean I can see why it was necessary for the company in the circumstances, but I don't think journalists are very good managers and as I've already said, I don't think news organisations uh, make a lot of money and so we'd have gone from being part of a rich company to being managed by journalists uh, on the bread line, so I wasn't looking forward to that. So in that sense, it was a silver lining that we stayed part of B Sky B. Mm -hmm. Personally, had we been able to join part of News Corporation, become part of News Corporation, I was much less worried about that for the simple reason that um, we are where we are and News Corporation and Rupert Murdoch have had the managing control of B Sky B since the beginning and they've never interfered uh, with uh, Sky News doing what it does in its context. Do you think that, uh, just out of interest, do you think that um, the Sun and the News of the World, uh, sorry, the Times will be sold? I think, yeah. you know, I think the truth is that there were a lot of strategic reasons for the merger with B Sky B, uh, and I think that most people in News Corporation, almost everybody, uh, would have been prepared to sacrifice the newspapers for the merger to go ahead, except for one very important person, <laughs> uh, Rupert Murdoch. He always will love those papers. Yeah, I mean, you know, when he's built them into what they are, I mean, uh, one can understand that. And you could see at the weekend there was some kind of joy in the whole company in whopping, you know, having him around felt like kind of the godfather had come home and was guiding. Well, I, no, well, I don't think the godfather, almost, <laughs> almost the father. Yeah. I mean, he created the son and, and all the rest of it. and, and um, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, the world of, of print journalism, the world of tabloid journalism is quite different from the world of...